Condensate traps for HVAC drain systems in all shapes and sizes are available from supply houses and field fabricators with little or no knowledge of pressure conditions and condensate flow rates. This chart shows some of the types of traps available. Some are more prone to failure than others, but all, including the best possible geometry, are subject to failure as a result of frequent empty operation or flow blockage. Building owners and HVAC contractors contend with trap maintenance on a regular basis. Empty trap operation and trap flow blockage cause damage to the air conditioning system. Yes, yeah, trap. The consequences of trap evaporation and flow blockage are unseen by the casual observer, but they can be illustrated vividly using laboratory simulated air handlers with transparent panels. These simulators allow building owners and other concerned parties to see and understand how trap failures cause damage and contamination to their air handlers and buildings. Just as in a real system, air is drawn through the filter, the cooling coil, across the drain pan, and into the fan. With the best possible trap geometry, the effect of evaporation is illustrated with an empty trap. The laboratory simulator is being operated with a negative one inch of water pressure. Systems are often operated at this or more negative pressures. During startup, after a heating cycle, like for summer cooling, trap water is evaporated, allowing air ingestion. Deflection of the benzene lighter flame shows how contaminated air can be drawn into the unit, and the introduction of smoke near the drain outlet shows how polluted air can be drawn into the system and spread into the conditioned space. An empty trap allows the ingestion of outside air during winter or non-cooling operation until condensate fills the trap. The two views show the blowing of condensate as the drain pan fills. Now, at 1.5 inches of water, condensate blowing becomes intense. Flow cannot occur at this pressure because water will overflow from the drain pan before drainage can begin. Also, as shown by paper placed in the blower airstream, water particles can be carried into the ductwork and cause damage to insulation and other components. Debris and algae growth frequently block traps, as shown here, and cause drain pan overflow, a common cause of building property damage and contamination. Condensate traps exposed to freezing temperatures can become blocked by ice, causing drain pan overflow. When freezing occurs, traps can become ruptured, as depicted here, and act like an empty trap, allowing air ingestion and condensate blowing during the cooling operation. These events cause damage to the air handler and the building, creating a perpetual internal wetness a fertile growth place for mold, bacteria, and other health-threatening biological contaminants. The property damage and maintenance effort required for this type system eliminates any hope for low life cycle cost. Further, since all the air inside a building may pass through the contaminated air handler several times per hour, health-threatening conditions are virtually certain. Thus, the use of systems equipped with condensate traps, in reality, rules out the realization of low HVAC operating cost and healthy building environments. The destruction and health threat caused by failed condensate drain systems are extensive. Conditions like depicted here are common and widespread. The wetted surfaces cause corrosion and provide a fertile growth place for contaminating organisms that result in costly property damage and significant health threats. The cause of these conditions are not readily visible to the building owner or manager, so the need to address the situation may not be apparent. Typically what they see during operation are units like the ones shown in these photographs. Only when the cabinet is open can the damage be revealed, as shown in these photographs. Why trap drain systems that allow property damage and health threats are so widely used and unchallenged is explainable. The condensate drain system is a unique component in the total system. It is an interface between the drain pan connection and the facility drain system, 
for which no entity accepts responsibility for its operation or failures. Hence, there is little interest in improving drain system performance. The building owners and managers are the victims, while others stand to gain in the form of more service calls and higher than necessary equipment replacement rates. An alternative to the failure-prone condensate trap is the Cost Guard Condensate Drain Seal, a proven, reliable, advanced technology drain system that uses an air seal instead of a water seal, eliminating all the problems associated with the industry standard drain system. It provides a seal during all operating conditions, both heating and cooling, and in any climate. It is self-cleaning, self-regulating, and requires no maintenance. This seal protects the building owner or user against undue cost in terms of maintenance effort, property damage, early equipment replacement, and health care. For this reason, the word cost guard is used to identify this seal. I will use laboratory simulated air handlers with transparent panels to demonstrate the effectiveness of the cost guard condensate drain seal. The Cost Guard Condensate Drain Seal installed on this simulated air handler helps explain how the device functions. A small quantity of air is taken from the positive pressure side of the fan. A portion of this air is discharged through the condensate drain pipe to ensure that outside air and pollutants are not drawn into the system. The remainder of the air is directed through the mitered elbows into the air conditioning unit. The air pressure loss in these elbows ensures that the air velocity entering the condensate drain pan is too low to cause condensate blowing. At the same time, its air seal allows condensate to flow freely from the drain pan. Cost Guard condensate drain seals will operate successfully with internal negative pressures of 5 inches of water. The Cost Guard device being demonstrated here is operating at a negative pressure of 1.5 inches of water typical of air conditioning systems up to 30 tons. Note the two views. Observe that there is no blowing of condensate and that flow discharge is smooth. Note also that the benzene lighter flame is being blown away. Thus air and pollutants cannot enter through the drain connection. Perhaps the most recognized problem with a condensate trap is that it catches debris and becomes blocked. This happens frequently often after only a few months of operation. The Cost Guard condensate drain seal inherently guards against such blockage. This special Cost Guard device, equipped with clear plastic elbows, shows why. Here soggy oatmeal is used to simulate the slime that often clogs drain lines and traps. Note the churning action produced by the air entering the device and the rapid passage of the debris. Unlike the condensate trap, the Cost Guard condensate drain seal retains no condensate and is unaffected by freezing temperatures that destroy traps. During the cooling operation when condensate is being generated, it flows rapidly through the drain seal, including the mitered elbows. Once condensate flow ceases, the warmer air that forms the drain seal quickly evaporates any water that may be held inside by surface tension. With the aid of front and rear transparent panels, the effectiveness of the Cost Guard condensate drain seal system in preventing the blowing of condensate in a small fan coil unit operating at negative 0.6 inches of water column versus a trap is shown here. See the ingestion of air through the empty trap as the drain pan fills and the blowing of condensate from the drain port back into the unit. Now, with the Cost Guard condensate drain seal system, note that there is no condensate blowing and condensate flows smoothly through the device. These photographs compare the internal conditions of air handlers with and without the Cost Guard condensate drain seal. The differences are clear. The top photographs with the industry standard drain system were in operation for less than 10 years. Failed condensate drain systems led to these wet and dirty conditions, building damage and poor indoor air quality. In contrast, the bottom photographs show units that use the Cost Guard condensate drain seal operating for more than 13 years with no preventive maintenance. As you can see, the units are clean and dry inside, offering the owner many years of extended service. More than 20 years field experience has demonstrated an increase in equipment life of 50 to 100 percent.
For more information, visit TrentTech.com or contact us by phone at 903-509-4843 or contact us by email at CostGuard at TrentTech.com.